Warren Ryan. Warren Redmond Ryan, born October 27, 1941, is an Australian former professional rugby league football coach and player. He is considered as one of the most influential rugby league coaches of the 20th century. Ryan also played in the NSWRFL Premiership for the St. George Dragons and Cronulla Sutherland Sharks. He was formerly employed as a color commentator by ABC Radio 702 for its rugby league coverage. Ryan also formerly contributed opinion articles to the Brisbane Courier Mail and Newcastle Herald. Athletics Ryan was also an elite track and field athlete, representing Australia in the 1962 British Empire and Commonwealth Games in the shot put coming 7th in a field of 16 with a throw of 51 feet 8 inches, 15.75 metres. Ryan accredits his famous attention to detail in his coaching to his Czech-born track coach of this time. Rugby League Playing Career Warren Ryan was a St. George Dragons lower grade player. He played in the Dragons' 1965 reserve grade grand final, and appeared in first grade on a number of occasions as a replacement during 1966. In 1967, he switched to the Cronulla Sharks in their debut season and became a regular in first grade, and was club captain at different times during 1967-68. In 1969 he moved to Wollongong Wests and had four seasons there, the final two as captain coach. He captained NSW Country in 1972. Broadcaster and Journalist Warren Ryan wrote for the Sydney Morning Herald for many years as a sports journalist. He is also a former member of the ABC Grandstand Rugby League commentary team, where, rather than calling the match play itself, he supplied special comments throughout the broadcast. Ryan used the term old darky during the call of an NRL match between the Roosters and Bulldogs. He claimed he was quoting a scene from Gone with the Wind. After listeners' complaints, he was stood down from the ABC with his colleague David Morrow pending an investigation. The scene he claimed to refer to is the quit in time scene in which a slave calls quit in time, presuming the role of the foreman. Dot having asserted his rights, the foreman immediately calls quit in time. The incident involving Ryan made headlines, while notable indigenous leaders called for an investigation. While the investigation continued, Warren Ryan resigned. He had intended to retire at the end of the 2014 season, but brought it forward rather than face the results. Refusing to address the use of a racist term, Ryan said, the word used to describe the character was a direct quote from the film. There was no offense intended, so I won't be apologizing. It would be insincere. Furthermore, there is no appeasing those who are determined to be offended. So that's it. I've had a long run and, for the most part, it's been very enjoyable. He proposed his own final system, an alternative to McIntyre Final 8 and AFL, but it was not accepted. Personal Life In addition to his rugby league career, Ryan was also a longtime physical education teacher at Belmore Boys High School in Sydney's Southwest. In April 2006, Ryan's son Matthew died of heart failure at age 24 following an overdose of the party drug, gamma hydroxybutyrate, GHB. On November 11, 2016, Ryan was charged with assault occasioning actual bodily harm after an altercation at Pagewood Hotel. Ryan had allegedly assaulted the 75-year-old man over an argument regarding the outcome of the 2016 United States presidential election. On October 23, 2017, Ryan was found guilty of common assault at Waverley Local Court and was put on a 12-month good behavior bond.